So you said you had a question on question number six, problem number six. So I'm gonna work through six, seven, and eight for you. So it says the graph shows the distance Jason's family's traveled on a recent road trip. Use the graph to answer this. It says, what is the constant of proportionality? And in the lesson, I said that if we were able to find points on a graph or points in a table, the constant of proportionality is equal to the Y coordinate over the X coordinate. So what I wanna do is I wanna find a convenient point on the graph that I can read both the X coordinate and the Y coordinate and figure that out. So I'm gonna find anywhere where they cross. So here we go. I've got the point two comma 100. So I have the point two comma 100. And I can find the constant of proportionality of y over x. So 100 over two is equal to 50. And then I have to put, I should put units in. And again, the units are gonna be the y over the x. So the y units are miles. And the x units are hours. So it's miles per hour. Now, one thing I'd like to point out, if you can easily read the graph where X is one and you go up to the line, that will give you your constant of proportionality. So when X is one, Y is 50. So the easiest one to have used was the point one comma 50. And because the unit of proportionality is a the, the, the constant of proportionality, the constant of uh, proportionality is the unit rate, okay? And the unit rate has a denominator of one. And in the previous lessons, we found the unit rate by dividing one unit by the other unit says to identify and interpret one other point on the graph. Well, I've already given you two, but let's find a third one um, right here. That's a point that crosses at a nice even thing. It goes over to 150 for the Y and it's three. So three comma 150. Well, I identified the point. And so I need to interpret the point and the interpretation is going to be after traveling three hours, Jason's family has gone 150 miles. So the interpretation is the X number with whatever X means, and then the Y number with whatever Y means. And then the last part, write an equation that models the distance D traveled in T hours. If we are modeling something, we, that, that's the thing that we want to have equal to our equation. So we're gonna write D equals. Okay, if the thing that we are modeling is the Y axis, which it typically is, this is our Y axis, which is the letter D. This is our X axis, which they tell us the letter T. What we do is we, we're gonna write D equals something T. Well, in this case, I need to know what I need to multiply T by to get to the distance traveled. And we have already solved that. And that is the unit rate that we got in the first equation. So constant of proportionality, the unit rate, and the number that I am going to use to create my equation are all going to be the same. So I hope hopefully that explains questions six, seven, and eight for you. If you got any more questions, just let me know.